Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of The Drive by Gigi, that's me. Um, today I'm visiting a showroom in Sunningdale called uh, Super Vettura Cars. Um, it's a dealership which has been there for over a hundred years and, um, and it's primarily based on uh, quite rare exotic cars, um, hypercars and supercars. So I think we're going to find some quite interesting cars in there today. Um, I phoned them up, spoke to a lovely guy called James, one of the sales team, and uh, no problems at all. He said, turn up, bring your camera and uh, shoot some footage. So um, I love that approach and sit back, relax and enjoy this uh, video in glorious 4K. Uh, whether you're sitting at home on your sofa, in front of the computer or you're watching this on your phone. Okay, so I have arrived at Super Matura um, Sales here in Sunningdale, and um, it's quite some collection they've got now. It's located around 10 miles from Heathrow, so if you're flying in and you fancy a visit, it's only about 20 minutes away, and there's some great tourist places to visit as well. Windsor Castle and Hampton Court, they're both within the local vicinity, so they're not far, and uh, there's some great little cafes just around the corner from the showroom. delve inside and take you through some of the collection and the first thing you notice as you come in the showroom is this amazing Pagani Huayra I think is how you pronounce it now I've loved these things for years and I don't think I've ever seen one on the road so yeah what a privilege to uh, to come into the showroom and see that the first thing that you get and you walk in Okay, so this is a beautiful Pagani Hira Roadster. Um, limited production vehicles of 100 and uh, V12 764 horsepower, six litre engine. You know, I mean, that's awesome. Seven speed gearbox and it's super lightweight as well. We're talking just under 1300 kilos. So an absolute beast. Um, this particular model has got, had one owner it's been registered inside the UK and um, and it's got 60 kilometers on the clock so it's virtually showroom condition never been used really but the level of detail in that cockpit is just unbelievable and uh, you know pure craftsmanship and try and do these wheels justice justice but they are amazing they're beautiful they actually they're quite deep dish, so from the side you can see that they actually disappear. They, you know, they dig into the actual car. It's beautiful, really, really lovely. How about a Ferrari three two eight GTB in amazing colour yellow? I'm not sure what it's called, but boy, does it look good. And uh, do you know what? I think I'd probably go for the yellow. I think it's really striking really stands out with the black interior. I think it looks really good. I'm not going to lie, one of my favourite cars in this collection is this 1993 964 Turbo S Lichtbau. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's basically uh, a 964 Turbo S stripped out. Uh, it's one of the lightest uh, cars Porsche have ever made. And uh, this is a real low mileage example. It's, it's been in the collection for years 
Um, it's only done 61 miles and um, it's a real shame. If I had one of these, I'd drive it everywhere, but I can't afford one. Um, now, the price of this is 1.495 million pounds in the UK, um, but it's an ultra rare, low mileage model. Now, there's only uh, one of eight, this is one of 86, and there was actually only 11 ever delivered to the UK. So this is a real special model. And um, for me, it's the perfect shape. I absolutely love this shape. It's one of the shapes you see in most of the films. Um, it's got the glorious um, flamenco red leather interior and uh, the purple wheel centers. Um, and it all works really, really lovely. And then on the back seats, you've got the uh, Turbo S logo printed on the, on the rear seats. Um, the, the, the weight saving of this over a typical Porsche 964 Turbo S is about 180 kilos. So we're talking a lot, there's two, that's the equivalent of two human beings. Um, so that's a lot of weight they've stripped out. Most of it was taken out from the windows. Uh, they're much lighter weight windows than this. The power steering was removed. Um, the rear seats were removed and uh, they used thinner glass all around. Um, so, uh, and some of the parts of the model are actually lightweight um, fiberglass carbon composite. And those parts are in the doors, the bonnet and the rear wing. Um, so you can see they've done a lot of work to make this car special. And uh, this sits 40 millimeters lower than your normal 964 Turbo S. That's quite a lot. Um, even in the modern Porsche world, you know, you're talking, they only lower them about 20 mil. So uh, it's a special car. Okay, these next two cars are both for the track. However, you can convert them to road use if you really wanted to. Uh, so this is the McLaren P1 GTR. What a weapon that is. It's so low, you just can't quite believe that they can fit all of that into this tiny little package. Beautiful color, the color works really well. I love the uh, 007 on the side as well. But just to give you some, a different view of it, you can see how big those arches are at the back. They're huge. And the slope of that roof. I hope it comes through on camera, but that slope on the back roof is like an angle you've never seen before in a car. It's completely amazing and bonkers. Incredible. And then just as bonkers next to it is the Aston Martin Vulcan. I mean, this thing is enormous. It reminds me of uh, a car that should be in one of the Batman movies. Honestly, it's that big, it's huge. Again, another track day car um, that you could convert for the road, but with these massive front spoilers, um, you wouldn't get very far. I'm sure, however, you could fit a tail, a lift to the front wheels if you really wanted to, but there we go. Look at the detail of that exhaust down the side. Incredible. these these uh, lights at the back they're actually like 3d they're actually sticking out so they're not actually housed under any glass they're incredible well, those of you aston martin lovers how about this the aston martin zagato it's an absolutely gorgeous looking piece of kit stunning Okay, here we have a Ferrari 512 BBI uh, from 1983 and um, just under 5,000 kilometers on the clock. It's a cracking example. The pay paintwork is absolutely immaculate. And um, I'll tell you, one thing that really strikes you about this car is just how low it is. It's really low and it's really wide, um, but it just strikes 80s all over it. Put on your, your, your suspenders and uh, go and trade some stock and uh, turn up in your hotel in one of these and uh, I think everybody would be impressed but it's an absolutely lovely example and um, 
there's only 1,007 of these ever produced. Um, it's a 4.9 litre flat 12 engine. Um, it's a five speed manual and um, it's got the Nero Hyde interior, which looks fantastic. Let me introduce you to the Spiker LM85. Super crazy color. Um, only 15 in the world and this is one of them so yeah look at this honestly this looks way better in real life i saw this on the uh on the website and um, i have to say it's probably one of my the biggest surprises in it i just think it's so different um crazy colors and and inlets all over the place all in sort of beautiful aluminium finish and and although I'm not allowed inside, you can just look at the detail in that dash. It's amazing, crazy. Look at that, that's where you fill it up. Incredible. And you've got a huge window at the back to view that glorious engine. And the detail continues around the back. Really impressive. I am a massive Lamborghini fan. Um, again, my love for Lamborghini started with the Countach in uh, the film Cannibal Run. Um, the black one with the spoiler on the front and the back. You don't see many like that and it probably wasn't standard. Um, but boy did it look good in the film with those two women driving it uh, across America. Um, but you have to say, I mean, these, these new ones are a work of art and you can see the engine bay absolutely beautiful and this one is Lamborghini Reventon and um, this is the only one in the UK so if you're in the in the market for a Lamborghini Reventon and you live inside the UK you need to head down to uh, Sunningdale to uh, Super Ventura and uh, they can sort you out a beautiful lovely matte finished i think you'd call it like a a gray a gray color but boy does it look good and it's so mean look at that okay so if you already own a completely insane um fuel eating monster with over a thousand horsepower then you're going to be needing something like this the bentley super sport 710 Beautiful car, lovely, lovely interior. Now, as the name would suggest, there is only 710 of these in the world and it comes with 710 horsepower. It's a lovely looking piece of kit. And uh, really quite special. So um, again, check out the website. Uh, it's got all the prices and details on there. And uh, these guys, will no doubt we look after you very well. Okay, so I've just come around the corner from uh, the main dealership here at Super Ventura uh, Cars in Sunningdale in Berkshire. Um, and I had to stop next door and check out the, the Koenigsegg uh, showroom. Uh, now Louis very kindly allowed me to come in, in, in here and talk about these, this fantastic Koenigsegg Regera, um, which there's only one of eight, there's only 80 uh, that was ever been built. And this is a combination of combustion engine and electric uh, motors. Now there's three electric engines in here um, and one combustion engine and the performance figures will blow your mind. Um, so the combustion engine has 1100 horsepower and 1,250 newton meters of torque. The electric motor has 700 brake horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. I mean, they are crazy numbers, absolutely crazy numbers. And uh, so combined, you've got over 1,500 horsepower and over 2,000 newton meters of torque. So just to put that into perspective, my BMW 125 diesel has 215 horsepower and 450 newton meters so 
That shows you what a weapon this is. The curve weight of this machine, bearing in mind all the technology that's in it, it weighs 1,590 kilos. Now that's the curb weight, and uh, so that, in that includes the fuel. Um, so you've got to admit, that's pretty impressive. Now it's a twin turbo V8, um, and it holds the world record um, for doing zero to 400 kilometers an hour. Now you won't believe it, but this actually did it in just under 23 seconds. 22.87 to be exact. And it's quite unbelievable as well how quickly this car will actually stop. So it does from 400 kilometers to zero in 8.62 seconds. Now, I have no idea what that must feel like, but I would imagine it's, it's like being on a roller coaster and someone's put the brakes on very hard at the end. Um, but they are incredible performance figures, and I think you'll agree this is a nice addition to the end of the video. And um, this, you know, is an absolutely beautiful example in crystal white pearl paint. And um, what a beautiful example. And uh, boy, I'm glad that they showed it to me.